Hi guys. Okay, so this is my first cooking video. I'm so nervous. I don't know why, but I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, like I said, it's my first video, so I promise I will get better and I would practice in my on my editing and all of that. But I just wanted to get one video out of the way and you know just wet my toes. So. Um, if you guys want to learn how to cook this delicious chili, keep on watching. So here's the finished product, all nice and plated and ready to taste. I have my volunteer here. So go ahead and taste it and give us your honest opinion. All right, so we're gonna start off with one tablespoon of oil. I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You can use whichever you'd like. And just one tablespoon because you only need this for the onions, mushrooms, and ground turkey. I am using turkey breast but you can use whatever type of ground meat you'd like or you can also just go vegetarian and just make it with mushrooms We're going to add some salt, that's to taste, so just a little bit because we're still going to season as we go. Pepper, and some granulated garlic. Make sure that if you are adding garlic that it's just garlic and it does not have salt, like garlic salt, otherwise you're going to have a very salty dish. You mix all of that around. Let that cook for a good seven to ten minutes until the ground turkey is fully cooked. All right, so now that the turkey is no longer pink, we're going to add the other ingredients. We have red bell peppers. And the mushrooms. And the cactus. And you stir all of that. And let it cook for another three to five minutes all right so now that all of these have cooked here for maybe four minutes I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients so pretty much after this we're done uh, sauteing everything that we are going to saute everything else we're going to add then just let it simmer with the broth so we're adding diced tomatoes two corns fresh off the cob I'm going to put the cobs in there as well to simmer with the whole chili so that it just gets more flavor and right before I'm ready to serve it I'm going to remove them kidney and white beans and then here we have coriander cumin and cayenne pepper 
here we have a couple of roughly chopped uh, chipotle peppers. Okay, so then just try and carefully stir everything together. Oh, I might need another pot. I might, I might not. We'll see. Nah, this one will do. Just fine. Oh my goodness. It's smelling amazing already. Okay, so now that all of the flavors and ingredients are mixed in, we're going to add our liquids. Oh, this smells so good. We're going to be adding some tomato juice. We're also going to be adding some chicken broth. Okay, so now we're just going to mix everything in so that we can make sure that we have enough um, liquid or if we feel we need more. Just kind of continue mixing to make sure that all of those spices just really went through everything and they're not just sitting in one particular place. So now we're going to taste it to see if we're missing any salt, um, if we want, we want to add more cumin or just anything that we feel is missing before we let it simmer. So I ended up adding a little bit more salt and a little bit more tomato juice. And so now it's at a flavor that we enjoy. So now from there, we're just going to let it simmer for like a good 20, 30 minutes. Pretty much it's already cooked there, but the longer you cook it, the more the flavors just combine and it gets nice and um, stewy, like between stew and soup. So we'll go ahead and let it simmer on low for 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll come back to show you. All right, so it's been roughly around 25 minutes and it's easier this way. We're going to remove the corn cobs. We don't need them anymore. Just make sure you don't forget any. It was a total of four and I am missing one. Oh, here it is. Okay, now at the very end, once you already have everything fully cooked and everything is perfect in flavor, you're gonna add a big, big handful of spinach. Now that one, you don't have to let it cook because it will automatically uh, weld in there. I believe that's the correct word. Let's just add that at the very end. And at this point you can already turn it off. There's, You don't need to have it on. So let me go ahead and serve it up and show you the final product. So here's the finished product, all nice and plated and ready to taste. I have my volunteer here. So go ahead and taste it and give us your honest opinion. Hmm. Mmm, it's really good. Yeah, two thumbs up. <laughs> so there you have it. Mmm.